Hey guys, Thunder E here, and if you are looking for an ultra wide gaming monitor, I've got two here for you to pick from, but there's really one that you should go for. This is Thunder E from Border Work, and we are talking about the Samsung Odyssey G9 versus the Samsung CRG9. The CRG9 came out last year, great monitor, and in terms of naming, it's not that good. CRG9, confusing name. That's why the Odyssey G9 is out right now. Naming, first of all, is so much easier. But there's so many things that make the Odyssey G9 really good. Now, don't get me wrong, the CRG9 last year was a great monitor. Uh, Ultra-wide, 1800R uh, curvature radius, which is good. It's nice. Uh, you also have a uh, four millisecond response time on here, 120 Hertz. You've got AMD FreeSync 2.0, and this is a HDR 1000 monitor. So it's a vibrant, bright monitor. Resolution 5120 by 1440. It looks really good and it packs in quite a lot. I mean, seeing me game on this thing is great, but mm -mm, scratch that back for a second. Let's take a look at what the Odyssey G9 brings to the table. First of all, the curvature radius is 1000R, which means it's tighter, it feels good. You can see everything all around. That panning space is really, really, really nice. Now, this monitor comes with a one millisecond response time. Now, this is also a 240 hertz monitor, not uh, 120, this is 240 hertz. I mean, that is ridiculous. Double the amount from last year. Also supports AMD FreeSync 2, and G-Sync at the same time. So it doesn't matter what gaming graphics card you have, you can switch, it doesn't matter. This monitor will support it. Now, of course, if this also is a HDR 1000 monitor, so you've got a thousand nits brightness in there, uh, and it looks really nice. In terms of design, the back panel look, all white with that blue lighting, it looks slick. I mean, gaming on this thing will be ridiculous. Like I said, the CRG9 itself is really solid, but when you look at them side by side, the Odyssey G9 really packs more punch this year because all the things I stated, the fact now you're going to 240 hertz, the fact that you have one millisecond response time, the fact that you don't have to pick a graphics card and it doesn't matter, you can pick whatever you want, and this will power all the way through. Oof, and it looks so good. Everyone at CES was ooing and eyeing at this thing. Uh, I didn't get a lot of gaming footage on there. I did get, of course, some portrait footage of Daniel playing, uh, you know, Overwatch. And this monitor is insane. I can't wait. Now, some of you are wondering, what about pricing? No word on pricing yet, but I believe the pricing will be similar to what the CRG9 was last year with the CRG9 now dropping in price, making it a more affordable monitor for you. But for me, the Odyssey G9 is really the gaming monitor to get in 2020. Whew, can't wait to check it out. So stay tuned when I have a full review for you guys to check out some gaming videos. Tell me what games you wanna see on the Odyssey G9. Got any questions, any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.